Oh man, Banky has plans this year. I thought this service is going to flop. I thought it was going to flop. But nope, it turns out it's still kicking despite so much controversy on Chip Chilla to be claimed as a bootleg of Bluey, even though it has so many similarities to Bluey, so I guess I could see why. I do not like ripoff claims, but man oh man. So, uh, Bank Key itself, $99 for a year. I don't think a lot of people would spend $99 on a service that has content that is already available in other services for a cheaper price or even for free, like Clangers. Clangers is accessed for free with full episodes. It doesn't need bank key, and uh, it said that it's intentionally apolitical. Yeah, I don't really trust about the Daily Wire, and it is marketed as an alternative entertainment platform adhering to traditional family values. Uh -huh, sure about yeah yeah right so it's an answer to market demand from conservative families for family programming that runs counter for the more left-leaning content currently available on disney plus yeah i don't think this was a good idea for bank king in the first place especially with the price seriously 99 dollars a year that is not good and it is offered 162 episodes from a catalog of 17 shows, including four originals. And Ben Key's lineup has mainly targeted towards preschoolers. Its flagship titles, including Chip Chilla, which a lot of people were not impressed. Though so Chip Chilla has been barely talked about. I remember when it was talked all over with its plans and its release. And then after that, poop! All that talk just went down just like that. It barely got talked about due to how it was like a fad. It was like a fad to see about its talking to claim to uh, talk about uh, that it was a copy of Bluey. And what is Ben Key looking for? It's still learning to have its audience's preferences. Oh uh, yeah, maybe it would be best to, oh, I don't know, low down your price no one wants to spend $99 a year for this, especially with content that is already available for free. It's casting a wide net for all formats with a slight preference for animation. Long form tween storytelling is especially high on the team's wish list. That preteen market is where we would like to do more development and acquisition. Well, apparently it says, despite the current lineup's preschool skew, Ben Key's most watched acquisition tune is the Viking-inspired tween fantasy runes from France's Les Armatures. Well, I guess that would be something, though I would think it would be more fitting if it would be in something of, I don't know, Netflix? Or Amazon Prime Video even. Something that has more access to it compared to Bank Key. Because Bank Key, uh, not sure if it's in so many households compared to those like Netflix and Prime Video. And oh yeah, a lot of people are not impressed about this thing about um, Chip Chilla getting a second season. Because I thought that it would only last one season. Oh, this is a whole Velma thing. Well, I don't think Chip Chill was playing for another season. Velma was playing for two seasons. This, this is uh, quite concerning about it. To see how it will go. Especially how uh, it didn't get that much talk. Compared to how it was back then. With a, being called as a copy of Bluey. And then it said that recently added a 2D animated Middle Mages series called Louie and Yoko Build. It's opening for more acquired complete titles. A uh, good case of point is Gus plus Us. All right, then. Um, I'm not sure how it will do, but I honestly got to say, uh, Bank Key might flop if they don't have these plans like this anymore because if this 
ends up to be a disaster, then I wouldn't be surprised if all this just goes down the drain and moves to more known streaming platforms. And giving Chip Chilla another season. Really? Really? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think that would be that much of a good idea to just do that. Given how so much talk was so negative with the whole Bluey thing. I don't know if this will be a short-lived thing. If it gets renewed for a third season, and oh boy, that will be very shocking. But uh, yeah, it's going to have a second season. Not sure about these plans that they want to go focus more on the preteen 6 to 11 demographic. But they might as well have to deal with competition. There's Netflix. There's Prime Video. There's um, Paramount Plus. Max. Disney Plus. There's YouTube. They might have to deal with all this competition if they want to have a focus towards the preteen demographic and animation. And of course, there is piracy, which might as well be the more useful thing to watch content from BentKey that isn't available on YouTube like the originals. I'm just saying there because I don't think this is that much of a good idea for those plans. If those plans actually do end up to be a success, I would be shocked. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Are you surprised to see that Benki still has these plans and now it's going to care towards the preteen demographic for animation itself? My goodness, Chip Chill getting their season. But man, oh man... They might have to try harder because, man, there's so much competition that is more accessible on households. $99 a year is not that much of a good idea at all, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, this is Kawhi Life Antonio, signing off. Peace.